Good evening. Yes. Good evening, Mr. Orellana. Good evening, Mrs. Gomez. And good evening, Mr. Valero. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Miss, Mrs. Gomez. Nice. Good night. Yeah, very well. I mean, I think so that you prepare very well the place. That's why you don't want we we see you. Preparó bastante bien el lugar y no quería que la viéramos. Ya le puso fotos, fondo, iluminación, everything. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Thank you. Mr. Alvallero, we missed you yesterday, Mr. Alvallero. Quizás antes de empezar, niños, recuérdense que ahí están los videos para que los vean cuando no asisten a clases. Otra cosa también, que vayan haciendo sus ejercicios. Mi joya, good evening, Mr. Salazar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Entonces, good evening. les recomiendo. Good evening. Les recomendaba que por favor vean los videos una vez más para aprender. Mm -hmm. Ya compartí en el WhatsApp las presentaciones. Ya cumplí con mi promesa de, de, de las presentaciones. Este, pero igual ustedes yo pido que vayan haciendo los ejercicios. Eh, ya mañana voy a revisar quienes no los han hecho y les pido que lo hagan, por favor. Pueden volver a ver el video si tienen tiempo, aunque creo que tiempo es una palabra que hoy es bien escasa. Cada quien hacemos ya un esfuerzo extra. Las ocupaciones, pero de igual forma, eh, pues, si quieren aprender, pues, tenemos que hacer ese esfuerzo. Bien, ya en uno o dos minutos voy a abandonar mi español, ya que esta es una clase de inglés. Y yo sé que es difícil, pero tenemos que hacer el esfuerzo de ir tratando de entender. Yo sé que no, pero es una... It's the only way that you can learn. Si me oyen hablar español, van a aprender, como yo le decía a otros estudiantes, van a aprender a escribirlo y van a andar allá en Estados Unidos. Así es. I can speak English, okay? But you cannot pronounce the words. Así como salen en los aviones, en los aeropuertos, cuando esperan a alguien, Mr. 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 Anybody. Entonces, that's the way. No, you have to vocalize the language. You have to to try to pronounce the word, you have to lose the, the, the fears, you have to try to pronounce very well the words, okay? Miss Peña, good night. Miss Romero, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Mr. Hernandez, good night. Mrs. Guevara, good night. Good night. Okay, we have full house today. I hope so. Okay, let's gonna leave. Uh, let's gonna let's gonna leave just. I mean, uh, we're gonna wait just for two minutes more, and I'm gonna start to pass attendance. And after we are gonna start with the class, Mr. Hernandez. Good night, Mr. Hernandez. Good night, good night, teacher. When I start to pass attendance, please, everybody has to uh, close your mic, okay? And now, I mean, we are going to wait just one minute more. Please, again, the recommendations is that you have to do the exercises. Anybody has problem with the platform? Do you no. still have problems? No. Mr. Orellana, no. Miss, no. Mrs. Gomez, no. Mr. Alballero, no. He tenido algún problema para ingresar a la... Really? Come so, on. send me a, send me a WhatsApp. Okay, send me a WhatsApp. And I'm going to send this WhatsApp to Jason Bautista, the, and he will help you, okay? But help me, uh, send me the WhatsApp with your name, okay? Hello, I am... Uh, 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 Reinaldo Castro Alballero and I have problems uh, 
getting in my platform. And after I will send to Jason Bautista and he will help you, he will call you and he will uh, teach you maybe how you can fix the problem. Pero lo, okay. lo imprimí, lo estoy haciendo así a... Ah, eso está bien, pero necesito que lo haga en línea porque si no, no le va, le va a aparecer a cero la nota. Entonces, por eso es que you have to do online, ¿ok? Yeah. Uh, somebody else has problems with the, with the platform doing the exercises. Ya todos hicieron los tres ejercicios. Ya hoy sería el cuarto. Everybody has done? Yes. 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 Ah, excellent. Excellent. Very well. Okay. Uh, three past three past eight. That's why it's the time to uh, pass attendance. Mrs. Grady, welcome again. Good night. Okay, let's gonna go with the attendance. Uh -huh. Attendance. No. Okay. Albanelli Reyes Villegas. No here, no yet. Alejandro Gustavo. Ah, I'm gonna start again. Albanelli Reyes Villegas. Alba, oh, she's getting. Okay. Albanelli Reyes Villegas. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. Alejandro Gustavo Melendez Mercado. No, he's no here. Okay, no. Anadelmi Herrera Morales. Please, I mean, Bernardo Arnoldo Salazar Jiménez. Present teacher. Well, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present teacher. Mrs. Gómez, thank you. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera Molina. No, no ha entrado todavía. Ok. Um, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Jonathan Martínez Cuellar. Isabel Beatriz Joyas Jandres. Presente, teacher Joya. Ah, Joya, Joya. Vale, después me recuerda y quizás mándeme un mensaje para que lo corrijan, porque aquí eso casi no lo tocamos nosotros. Joya. Joya, así le pusieron, mm -hmm. por eso sé. Entonces, mándeme un mensaje para decirle a Elena que lo corrija. Porque esto, eso es lo que no tocamos nosotros, ¿ok? Se Omar Esquivel. No yet. Josefina Aida Guardado. Present teacher. Excellent. María José Guerra de Guevara. Present teacher. Very well. Max Fernando Castro Hernández. No. Michelle Alejandra Flores Peña. Present. Very well. Renata Romero Rivera. Present teacher. You have problems with the camera, Renata? Ah, no, ya la activo. Es que estaba, oh. estaba yeah, cenando, okay. perdón. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. Okay. Reinaldo Castro Alballero. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Roberto Edmundo Hernández González. Present teacher. Excellent. Silvia Kretz. Kretz de Grady. Present. Ok. Ok. Y Xiomara del Carmen Castro de Gómez. No, ok. No, I'm not going to need, gonna need this. Ok. For today, uh, we are about to finish the unit. I mean, that we are studying the unit number one, in which, in which one we have learned the alphabet, just no questions, and just no questions, affirmative and negative statements. Those are the things that we have started. Today, we are gonna start studying uh, some kinds of readings. What other kind of greetings do you know? ¿Conoce algún otro tipo de saludos para empezar en inglés? De hecho, uno famoso viene de la aplicación que más usamos ahorita. WhatsApp. Exacto. WhatsApp. En realidad es WhatsApp. WhatsApp, buddy. Okay. Entonces, pero ya la gente ya ni siquiera le pone la U, sino que hoy es A, y hoy ya la gente dice WhatsApp, aunque la expresión original es WhatsApp. 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 ¿Otro que conozca? How are you? How are you? How are you? Es una pregunta, es, es una pregunta, y es una forma, la más eh, formally, la más formally. Uh -huh. Another one? No. Veamos, pues, aquí hay algunas, no son las únicas, depende a veces de, de, de a veces hasta del lugar. Puede ser que este puede ser que cambien o que varíen, ¿no? Vamos a ver entonces, les voy a compartir pantalla. I'm going to share my screen. You have here, okay? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then you have some uh, greetings, common greetings. That is hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's nice to meet you. Aunque este solo funciona cuando acaba de conocer a alguien. Lo que dice me parece o estoy encantado de conocerte. También it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm glad to see you as otro. Luego el otro, ya cuando you are uh, too much familiar, you say, hey, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. The most commonly used greeting in English, hi. Okay. Es que hello es como el más formal. Hi es como el más, eh, hey, qué onda, o algo así, parecido. Okay. After you have morning, a veces la gente in, 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 in the USA eh, no dice good morning, es solo como, hey, morning. How are, how are things? So it's como, como están las cosas? How are things? Hey, ¿cómo vas? ¿Cómo están las cosas? El 9, el 10. What's new? Uh, ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Algo así como Box Bunny. ¿Qué hay de nuevo, viejo? What's new? Okay. Uh, it's good to see you. It's bueno verte. It's good to see you. Uh, uh, it's used when you haven't seen someone in a while. I mean, uh, your maybe your uh, your classmate of the school hey good to see you again huh? that's the way to say uh, uh the number 12 is what's up okay i was telling you that's the real way to write down what's up hey what's up buddy what's up buddy that's it the other one how it's going how is it going uh -huh. Algunos dicen, eh, uno que es a veces un poco informal también es como, what's going on, eh? ¿Cómo están las cosas? ¿Cómo van yendo? What's happening? I remember a movie that a, a guy always say, what's happening? What's happening? He was an immigrant and he never learned to speak in English. And the only, the only thing that he can say he, eh, was, what's happening? what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Because he didn't 
he 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 couldn't say anything else. Those are the greetings, okay? So you can uh, use when you are talking. Hey, hello, hey, good afternoon, hey, good morning, hey, how are you, brother? How are you? Uh, that's the way to I uh, mean some greetings, okay? There are most, uh, you can listen also, uh, a most uncommon is, what's cookie? Uh, always I use that, what's cookie? They say, ¿Qué galleta? No, no significa, es como, I mean, ¿Qué onda? Esto es bien informal. Otros que a veces no se puede decir aquí porque no vaya a ser que me vete después YouTube si los menciono, que no son malos, pero hay, digamos, hay cosas que, que, que no se pueden decir en YouTube. Then these are the most common greetings that we have. Huh? Do you have any question here? No. No. Everything, it's okay. Everything will be all right. Yes. Everything will be all right. Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to Now, we're going to see the possessive adjectives. You use possessive adjectives. When do you use possessive adjectives? When you say your name. Who's your name? My. My name is. My is one of the first possessive adjectives. What are the possessive adjectives? They are the adjectives that indicate possession, okay? My name my last name, my occupation, okay? This is the, sorry, just, okay. Possessive, possessive adjectives, adjectives, sorry. Para I is my, let's see, my, para you is your, para he is his, para she is her, para he, it is it, Para we is our, para you is your. Again, we are using a you de, de, de ustedes, and for they is their, okay? These are the possessive adjectives, okay? Possessive adjectives. When do we use when something belongs to you, okay? Cuando algo le pertenece. Huh? Así de sencillo. Here we have some sentences. Showing the example, my car. Whose car is that one? My, it's my car, my car. Your house. This is our classroom, our station, our learning. Uh, these are the possessive adjectives. Any question here? Do you feel that I'm going fast? No, okay. Okay. So, uh, you, you have to start to say something something that, be, that belongs to you. I'm going to, could I, uh, could I leave to share my screen? Could I leave to share my screen? ¿Puedo dejar de compartir mi pantalla? Or are you still copying? Yes. Yes, what? Just <laughs> copy. Ah, we are, we are copying. Positive, positive adjectives. Teacher. Hi. ¿Por qué, por qué este, siempre ponen como dos veces you? You. Ah, because uh, in English, they, in English, they, I don't, I don't remember if you were in first class. In English, uh, there is you for you, and there is you for uh, the <coughs> word that we use in Spanish as ustedes. Do you understand to me, Mitchell? What's up? What's up? Michelle, are you there? Hi? Michelle, are you there? 
No, no, yo, no, Renata, where? Sorry, Renata was, sorry, thank you. Renata, it's because they use ustedes as you also. You, one is for two, and the other you is for ustedes. That's why. Mm, okay. That's why they always use you. Okay, you're welcome. Any question, girls, boys? No. No. We're gonna see. We are online. We are online. Oh my God. <laughs> I got, I, I, I wrote down uh, three. Okay. <clears throat> Let's gonna do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave, share my screen. I'm gonna stop to share my screen. Could I? Puedo? Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I? That's it. Could I? Podría? Puedo? Could I? <laughs> yes, you have to remember. Hey, the teacher says that when, when he was speaking, okay? Could I? That it's the expression, yeah. something like that. It's... <laughs> Something like that. Could I? Podría o puedo? Podría dejar de compartir mi pantalla? Could I stop to change my screen? Yes. Okay. So, un objeto rápido que tenga ahí a la mano y diga algo que es mío. My, my, my. Yo ya sé que es su nombre. Pero vamos rápido. Algo y si no sabe cómo se dice, you know what is the question, okay? How do you say in English? Excellent. My remote okay. control. Ah, my remote control. Remote Excellent. Control. Uh -huh. Reinaldo? My cell phone. My cell phone, Michelle? My pencil. My pencil? Maria Jose? My cell phone. My cell phone. Cell phone. That's it. Ah, okay. Roberto. My book. My book. Isabel. Uh, how do you say cartera? Valid. In this case, purse. In your case, purse. For women, is purse. Ah, uh, okay. Sería my women. My purse. My, my purse. Oh, purse. That's it. Okay. Miss, Mrs. Gomez. My apple. My apple, excellent. Miss Guardado. Um, my coffee. My coffee, excellent. Please share with me. <laughs> <laughs> Renata. My glasses. Excellent, my glasses. Very well. Uh, Miss Grady. My notebook. My notebook, very well. Xiomara. My pencil. My okay. pen, in this case, pen, because pencil is lapis and pen is lapicero. Uh, pen. My, Excellent. My, my, pen. Pen. my pen. My pen. Yeah. My pen. Yeah. Bernardo? The picture my of my credit card. Huh? My credit card. Ah, your credit card. Very well. Henry? Hey, please, guys, don't point to the sky because I don't distinguish. <laughs> I'm pointing to the sky because I'm thinking, trying to watch like that. <laughs> Henry, hello, are you there? No, I mean, I don't know, he's not there. Oh yeah, he's moving. Oh my God, this guy is moving. 
Okay, Nelly. Hello. Tell me. Miss Alba Vigegas, please tell me something that belongs to you. My watch. My watch. Hey, nice. I love watch. I love watches, you know. I love uh, I mean colon, I think so. Colon. Watches and books. Those are my patients or my my benikis. <laughs> Everything's okay. Okay, that's the way that we use eh, eh, that we use the possessive adjectives. This is very important that you understand what are possessive adjectives. Okay. Now we are gonna start with a group work, and we are gonna make eh, a worksheet in which you have been here. You have to change the I mean, uh, the noun or the proper noun by a, a by a by an adjective by an possessive adjective. Remember, I have seen that many of you have have, have had problems distinguishing. I if I say if I say Daniel, Daniel is Daniel is he. If I say Isabel, Isabel is she. If I say Daniel and Isabel are they. If I say Daniel, Isabel, and me is we. If I say Daniel and I is we. We have to distinguish when is we, when is he, when is she, when are they. Huh? In that way, you are going to distinguish which uh, possessive Adjective, do you have to use? Okay, as always, I'm gonna send this picture by this, and after I'm gonna share the picture also in your, I mean, in your WhatsApp. Please don't project the page here. I'm gonna try to uh, work under listened uh, Creative Commons, but I mean, sometimes uh, YouTube can be a kind of, I don't know, he can punish, and as I was, explaining to you, I mean, uh, they have to penalties. That's why we have to be very careful or very, uh -huh, we have to be very carefully, no, very careful, sorry. Uh, and don't show this kind of pages. So again, I'm gonna make groups and you start to work. Tienen una pregunta hasta aquí sobre eso? Es fácil, solo tienen que distinguir el pronombre y ver cuál es el adjetivo posesivo que le corresponde. Any question? No. Ok. I'm going to make the groups. Voy a hacer los grupos. Comparto la hoja. I'm going to share the screen. Let me see. Bye. Well, let's going to make the... It's going to make the group. Always, uh, how many we are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. What about the others? 14. We have six less. But 14, we have uh, <laughs> different groups of uh, 14. Uh, 14. Yeah, three groups. Uh, you are going to work in all exercises, okay? If you want to leave some others for after, you can do it. But you have to work on all uh, all exercises. Please try to use your English and you can uh, help between yourselves, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> tribe. That's my tribe. Uh, adjectives. What's up? Go. Uh, that's it. Possessive adjectives. It's there in your WhatsApp. Transmitir mensaje a todos. Transmitir. No, transmitir. 
Um, well, please take from your cell phone because from your cell phone because I couldn't do by here. Okay. Ana, you have green. En Aida todavía no ha entrado a su sala. Uh, I want to see. Ana, Ana, eh, Silvia tampoco ha entrado. Consuelo, hello. Consuelo no ha sido asignada. Veamos. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Veamos. Let's gonna leave you to the to number three. Ahorita. Eh, Ana y Silvia entren a sus salas, por favor. Mm. Ya, yeah, uh -huh. vale, perfecto. Ya, yeah, eh, I send a page through the WhatsApp. Silvia, go to your classroom, please. I think that is number. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go for the. Yeah, try to use your English, guys. Yeah. Those are positive adjectives, okay? Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do is just to change. The word underline you have to change. Tim is a boy. And? And? My. No, porque es Tim. Uh -huh. is, is a boy. Um, en, aquí están, miren, aquí están, eh, eh, like in a pergamino, there are the, eh, there are, there are the, 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 en un pergamino están los, los, los possessive adjectives. Uh -huh. I do. Ajá, uh -huh. his, her, his, our, your, their. Entonces, team is a boy. Well, which is the possessive adjective that correspond him, correspond to him. Mm -hmm. It's a boy and... Mm -hmm. Boy. And here... His. 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 A boy. Here is um, for a girl. His, his, his. name, his surname is... His Forbes. name, his surname is... His. his surname is Forbes. Exactly, porque his is para... Sí. Para él. Exacto. Ah. Her es para él. Eh. Her es para ella. His es para, para ella. Ajá. Her es para ella. His es para él. Y para así. él. Él. Ajá. Ah, okay. Entonces, de este, de, de underline word. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Compartir pantalla porque no, 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 I mean, if you, uh, some of you can, uh, can choose. I mean, this is an exercise. If the time finish and you haven't done all of them, don't worry, but you have to try to do all of them, okay? Dicho de otra manera, porque veo que Ana se me queda viendo raro, es que usted los debería hacer todos. Pero si no los hace, no se preocupe. Cuando el tiempo corra y no los haya hecho, no se preocupe. Pero sí, you have to try to do everything, okay? Usted tiene que tratar de hacerlos todos, okay? El teacher nos podría, me, nos podría compartir porque eh, yo acabo de, de, de ingresar a la clase. Sí, Henry. Entonces, ajá, salí yes. y me cayó el WhatsApp, eh, pero para retornar al grupo me tocó salirme de la página. Ah, ¿quiere que le vuelvan a compartir el qué? El ejercicio. Los ejercicios. Ah, pero que se lo comparta a través de WhatsApp otra vez. Sí, exacto, para yo poderlos copiar. Ah, va, perfecto, ahorita. Va, ahí está. Gracias. You're welcome. Every, everything is clear, guys? 
Can I move? Everything will be all right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going for the other room. Y después vuelvo. Don't worry. Yes, okay, let me tell you something. Yes, but don't worry. I mean, if you did it, if you don't finish, there is no problem, but you have to try to do everything because in the way that you do everything, you are gonna learn. I mean, but if the time finish, you are not running, oh, the teacher is gonna punish me because we didn't finish. No, don't worry. I mean, this is learning, okay? Esto es aprendizaje. No, no es que lo voy a castigar porque no las termino todas. O sea, pero sí, you have to try to do everything because uh, as much as you do, as much as you learn, okay? Así, tanto hace, tanto aprende. If you have any question, you can do it now. Pero tendríamos que escribirlas todas. I mean, escribirlas tal vez no en este caso. Yo en este caso no hay que las escribiera. Tal vez las puede resolver. Porque escribirlas tampoco ahorita estamos así como que. Ajá. Como que es plan. ¿Ah? Con que las resuelva. Okay. Por ejemplo, la primera. ¿Cuál es? The first one is. Uh -huh. His. 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 Remember, his. Tim is a boy. His surname is Forbes. Igual, ojo, no van a entender así al 100% de sentence. Ajá. No, si usted se pone a traducir eh, palabra por palabra, con la primera se quedó. O sea, sí. Sí, tranquila, ahorita trate nada más de resolver los espacios, ¿verdad? Ya después en su casita with time, ya usted agarra la página, traduce, aprende nuevas palabras. Believe me, dos horas no van a ser suficientes. I mean, to learn English, dicen que para aprender inglés tienes que soñar, pensar, eh, hacer todo lo que haces en inglés. Ah. Así yes. que, you can do it. Okay. Do you have any question? Uh, no. Okay. It's. Okay. I mean, you don't have to copy, just solve, solve all of them, okay? You can solve okay. all of them. No, no, you don't have to copy it, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Bye. Okay. bye. Bye. Okay. Again, you don't have to copy all of them. At least you have to solve all of them. No tiene que copiarlas todas, pero sí tiene que resolverlas todas, que es diferente. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> sí, no, no, si usted empieza a copiarla, llegamos a las 11 y no las ha terminado. Ok. <laughs> Lo mismo no trate de traducir cada uno. ¿Y esto qué quiere decir? Trate ahorita de completar, complete the exercise. Ok. Porque este... si empieza a querer traducir, aún el translator le puede fallar y mira quien no entiende esto, no sé qué o le puede dar. Otra, mm -hmm. another word. That's why, okay? So then, please, uh, try to solve all of them. Trate de resolverlas todas. Aunque no las copie, ya después analiza. You question, question between yourselves. Pregúntense entre ustedes. Mira, yo creo que es esta. No, es esta. Uh, we are learning. Okay? Okay. Sí. La H. La H. La H. Hi. In, la, in letter E, please use your English. Remember that I told you yesterday the alphabet. Letter E. <laughs> okay. Letter B. Letter e. F. Letter P. Mm -hmm. Questions? Do you have any questions? I mean, you don't have to translate all the words. You don't have to copy all of them. No tiene que copiarlas todas. Al menos solve, solve all of them. Resuélvalas todas. If you have an equation, you can do it. Aún palabras entre ustedes. Pregúntenme, teacher, what's the meaning of? And I, if I can help you, don't worry that I will do. 
Any question, girls and guys? Mm. Any question? No. Henry, do you understand the exercise? Is everything clear? Uh, mm, no more. <laughs> no, not too much. Tell me then. What's your doubt? Um, we use the possessive adjective mm -hmm. and and the uh -huh. yeah, is, letter F. Uh -uh, letter F. Let's gonna see letter F. F. Ah, take this coloring pencil. Color pencil. This coloring pencils. Esos colores. In my. No. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Pero, but just the underline. It, Lo que pasa es que. I like. Le uh -huh. explico. La parte subrayada es la que hace el sujeto que hay que trasladar al I adjetivo like. posesivo. Entonces, Pero sería, I like uh -huh. it, its color. I like oh, no. this color in pencil. I like, ah, I like their oh, no. color. Their. Sí. Their. Ajá, porque me gustan esos o aquellos. Déjeme corregir. Uh, let's gonna see something. Let's see something. I wanna see. Let me see something. Letter F. Letter F. Yeah, exactly. It's there. It's there. Porque es como se está hablando de ellos. De, él, de ellos. De ellos. Me gusta el color de esos colores. Ah, entonces me encanta hacer de ellos. Es there, es decir, que puede ser ellos y esos. Exacto. Ahora serían nuestros, ¿verdad? Which one? Ah, letter F. Take this coloring pencil, this, aquellos. Lo que pasa es que dices por aquellos, ellos, ajá. Uh -huh. Por a, aquellos, dices aquellos. Ellos, por decir, oh. Uh -huh. This is, is used for aquellos. Aquellos de, de hace bastante. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Miss Grady, do you have any, any question, Miss Grady? You are very quiet. Miss Grady, ah, la que sabe más ahorita. Ah? Ella sabe más todavía. Really? Oh my God. Sí. <laughs> I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> no, no nada. No. <laughs> ah, okay. Don't worry, Miss Grady. I'm gonna go for the other group. Number okay. three. Bye. Six. Which one? Six. Which letter? E. E. And is in is not Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Santa Claus. Uh -huh. and the Bad. Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Santa, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Bad. Pero la barba, su barba blanca, su, 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 es, 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 Santa Claus, Sam is in Santa Claus, um, but his, uh, his, his beard is white. His, his beard is white. Exactly, he's white. His beard, his beard, 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 is white. Sarita is Spanish, but? It is Spanish. But? Su madre, here, here. Su madre, here. Hair. 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 Hair
is Spanish, her but her, her mother is Portuguese. Sí. Okay. But her mother. Her mother, no here. Her mother. Her. 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 Yeah. Her is part of this. Yeah. The dog. What's up? Silence, 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 silence. What's silence? Wow, my God. <laughs> Nelly, please don't influence your colleagues, okay? <laughs> Teacher, sometimes I speak in Spanish for and understand very well. We, <laughs> I know, but I mean, in order that you force to speak English, <laughs> you are going to learn more. I know. I mean, the people ask me, how did I learn English if I never have traveled to the USA? Yes, the practice, only practice. I, yeah, I think. One, one thing was that. And the other one, I, I, I got a classmate at the university. He, he, was, he, he was Salvadorian, but he... he he lived in the USA for about 40 years, I think so, or 30 years. So I practiced. With which practice you teacher with? With my with friend, with my wow. friend. He lived in the USA for about 30 years, I think so. And he forced me, I mean, the, the deal that we had is you help me with my Spanish and I help you with your English. That's why. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. That's why my point is that you have to force to speak English because that's the point. That as we don't force, we say, eh, yes, we are learning, but we can speak Spanish, okay? Go for Spanish. That's why you don't learn mm. much. Oh, uh -huh. really? Nice teacher. Nice. Nice, oh, but you are going to continue to speak in Spanish, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but when you teach, remember that English more. Yeah, that's why I have another job, obviously, but uh, I like to teach because I don't want to forget my English. And even I have the plans to travel to the USA maybe next year, I think so. Ooh. You have if a I visa? Huh? You have a visa? Uh, we are trying to get it. Oh. Yeah, I have oh. traveled just to another countries like Panama, Nicaragua, Guatemala, mm -hmm. something like that. Yes. All the America Central. Uh, well, all Central like, America, it's just, it's uh, just, just Honduras and Costa Rica, no? Mexico, I, Mexico, I was in Mexico. You were in Mexico. Uh, Mexico, uh, Re Dominican Republic. Oh my um, God. It's a beautiful. My God. Belize. You are a glove trotter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in Amsterdam. Oh my God! Is nice other... city. Please don't tell us it more because we, have to, we start to dream. <laughs> we start to dream. For 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 that for that I uh, start learn English because because you go to another country and just you see the people speaking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's yes. okay. Hey. That's okay. Have you finished, Renata? Reinaldo, Roberto, Xiomara? Yes. Oh sí. my God. So then I think so that we are gonna start to, I mean, we are gonna, uh, we are gonna uh, finish the groups, okay? To okay. share it. I mean, I think so that there are a lot of sentences to share. Okay. okay? Miren, compañeros. Ah, sí. <laughs> <laughs> I see I'm, I'm still here, okay? I'm still here, okay? Tenemos que cambiarla y, la, y también tenemos que cambiarla. Ahí estamos un poquito. <laughs> Sorry, I am tita. here. I am here, Nelly, okay? <laughs> the E is, is our two.
Loutic. I was silence. Okay. Let me see. Just I'm watching who's gonna stay with me today. Who's the shoes and one? Today is Bernardo. It's your turn. Okay. Let's gonna read the sentences. Don't worry. If you let me, I can correct you. Uh, I can correct. I mean, oh my God. I can correct yourself if you want. I mean, okay. So, Xiomara, that's gonna read number one or oh, letter A, please. Hey, this exercise is very good to also to, I mean, to practice the alphabet. Thing is a boy. A boy. And he puts to. Surname. Is surname. Forbes. 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 Yeah, his surname is Forbes. Hey, your girl wants to learn English also. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very well. His team is a boy. Teacher, uh, his. ¿Cuál es, perdón, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre the last name and surname? Ambos son apellidos. Yes. The point is the country surname is for uh, is for british people and last name is for american people that's it that's the difference yeah thank you, thank you don't worry you're welcome maria jose letter b thing is by word no letter b <laughs> Sorry, the second one, letter B. The cat is a pet. But now you don't have mic. You you close your microphone, your microphone, sorry. No, Maria, we don't hear you because you have closed your microphone. And now, yes. The cat is, uh -huh. is, is a pet. Don't worry. It's a, it's a pet. It's a pet. Uh huh. You? Mm. Mm. In the case of animal, it's 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 uh huh. Okay. It's ears. Se refiere a sus orejas o las orejas del gato, que es un eso, que ese es el pronombre. It's ears. It's ears. Ajá. Uh -huh. Black week. R. R. Eso sí ya lo enseñé. R. 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 Black week. Exactly. White. White. Spots. 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 Uh -huh. Perfecto. Perfect. Thank you, María José. Claudia. Sí. No, C. Sí. 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 I am a listener and my favorite channel in fashion. Yeah, I am a designer. Perfect. Designer. A designer. And my favorite TV channel is my... mm -hmm. fashion. Fashion. Yeah. Same. I am a designer. Yeah. Miss Guardado. Yeah, hello, but you don't have me. Oh, now, yeah. Um, D. Letter D, yeah. It is raining and you haven't got um, uh -huh. your umbrella with you. With, with you. you, with, with you. you. Exactly, your excellent. Umbrella. Your umbrella, yeah. Because it's you, your umbrella. It's ra Is it raining? It is raining, sorry, and you haven't got your umbrella with you. Letter E, Consuelo. C. Yeah, no. Letter. Oh, no, E, E. Uh -huh. Nani and you are twins. Your parents are Mr. and Mr. Bob. 
Nani and you are twins. Uh -huh. Your parents. Uh -huh. No. Nope. Because yeah. it's Nani and you. Mm -hmm. mm, they. Their parents are. I'm going to see. Are the teacher, Mr. Uh -huh. and no, Mr. Letter, no. letter E. Sorry, take this. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's okay. Your parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't got our I mean. Yeah, your parents. Nani and oh. you, it's Nani and you. Yeah, Nani and you mm -hmm. are twins. Your parents are Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Brown. It's you, okay. your parents, because it's Nani and you. Mm -hmm. Alba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Me equivoqué. Um, F. Yeah, letter F. Okay. Say the coloring pencil. I like its color. I like their color. Their because color. Of que son, uh -huh. Porque son algo así como esos, aquellos. Cuando dice, dices esos, aquellos. Entonces se refiere más o menos como algo así. Y voy a decirlo. El, el problema es que en español, cuando a usted le dicen aquella, ¿cuál es su reacción? Disculpame, le dice, aquella tiene nombre. Porque a nosotros no nos parece esa. Pero en inglés existe. O sea, en inglés dices aquellos o aquel. Pero aquí en, el, en los latinos, así como que le dicen aquel, disculpa, le dice, pero aquel tiene nombre. Porque nos parece un poco... ¿Sí o no? Nuestra querida comunicadora Renata. Nos parece, nos parece hasta un tanto despectivo ese, o sea, pero en inglés existe. This is aquel o aquellos. O sea, entonces, I mean, that's why es como, en realidad son ellos. That's why their color. Es por eso, este, Alba. Es que habíamos entendido, me, nos, me gustan esos colores. Exacto, pero le digo, esos o aquellos en inglés se representan a veces por ellos. Mm, ¿no? Ok. Ok. Porque como digo, quizás en español como casi no usamos ni esos ni aquellos, porque cuando dicen esa o aquella, realmente en español es bien despectivo. Entonces por eso no usamos eso. Generalmente nosotros aplicamos eso más para otra cosa, pero como le digo, si le dicen ese, ya a usted se le queda viendo feo, ya, ya es para que no le habló toda la vida. ¿Mm? Entonces, that's why, ok. Uh -huh, Renata. Entonces, teacher, ahí que sería their, their colors. Their, uh -huh, their colors. Uh -huh. Their, I mean, their, uh -huh. I like their color, yeah. Me gusta, me, me gusta su color. <clears throat> okay, the letter G. 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 The, the hair is. Crying, don't worry. Crying, crying, crying because her doll is, is dirty. Dirty. Okay. The girl, in this case, is the girl. The girl is crying because her, in this case, is her. No es here, it's her. Her doll is dirty. Sí, lo tengo escrito bien, pero lo dije mal. Exacto. No, es que no sé, quizás. No, no se preocupe, pero es cierto, es pronunciación. A veces pensamos que todas las E en inglés se pronuncian como I. Y eso es, es cierto, Ajá. porque ya después nos vamos acostumbrando que todas pensamos que todas las E son como I. Porque la E en, España, en inglés, realmente, ¿cómo es la E en inglés? I. Como I. Ajá. Exacto. De uno piensa que, que es así, pero el problema es que en inglés, we have phonetic. O sea, tenemos fonética que es diferente a la, a la grafía, pues se escribe de una forma, pero se pronuncia de, de otra. Okay. Y es más, en inglés es más, es, más, es más puntual 
y en su caso creo que es un poco más difícil porque usted está acostumbrada a eso, a, a que como uno ve las cosas, así las pronuncia, en español es bien plano en ese sentido, pero en inglés no, en inglés es mejor aprender phonetics, de hecho a los niños de primer grado, we have to teach phonetics o phonics, le llaman, porque te aprenden los sonidos más que las grafías, como lo es en español. Oh, okay. ok, the girl is crying because her doll is, dirt, is dirty. Bernardo, yeah, you have done, Bernardo, yes. No. Sí, ya lo he hecho, ¿no? ¿Verdad, Bernardo? No, 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 no. Ah, ok, Bernardo, letter H. Mm -hmm. So, Bernardo, letter H. H. Yeah. You and I love reading. Uh huh. Love reading, crying, writing is our favorite. It's our favorite. Yeah. It's our favorite. Our favorite. Our, our, our favorite. Yeah. Excellent, Bernardo. Daniel, letter I. Letter I, Daniel. Yes, but we don't have audio. Letter I. No tengo audio, Daniel. Letter I. Sam. Ahora, yeah. ahora sí, ahora sí. <laughs> Hoy sí. I. <laughs> Sam is in Santa Claus, but Uh -huh. but, his, but his beard is white. Exactly. Excellent. Thank Michelle. You. Letter J. Is Spanish, but her mother is Portuguese. Uh, uh, I mean, a ver, again, please. Clarita. Is Spanish. Uh -huh. But her mother is Portuguese. Excellent, Michelle. Thank you. Letter K for Isabel. Letter K. Uh, the dog is Nine. Nine? Mine. Mm, uh -huh. no. It. Exactly. Name is black. Its name is black. Name is. Its name is Blacky. Excellent. Its name is Blacky. Uh, perfect. Reinaldo. Uh, there are L. Does those people have got new CD? They power is singer is Pavarotti. Is Luciano Pavarotti. Que ragazzo. <laughs> Mamma mia, que ragazzo. Uh, qui sono. Exactly. Those pupils have got new CDs. Their favorite singer is Luciano Pavarotti. Mamma mia. Letter M, it's for... You have done, yeah, because they move. Soon moves me. And I want to see Silvia. Letter M. Hey. Letter M. Letter M, yeah. This is Brian Adams. You and I like the singer. Brian Adams is our favorite singer. Excellent. Letter N is for Roberto.
-hmm. Roberto, are you there? No. Okay, Xiomara, you have done? Yes, Xiomara or not? Sí, ya lo hizo. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Number okay. one. Okay, thank you, Xiomara, because soon moves me. Soon made me crazy. Scott and you like surfing. It is your favorite it sport. Uh, it's got, it is there. It's sorry. Which one did you answer? I want to see. I'm going to, something I forget. It is mine. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's and that, that it's, it's, which is, it is. Who wants to answer? Nobody. No. It is our favorite sport. Our Porque es favorite. nosotros. Es, mm -hmm. es. Scott, in este caso, Scott, imagino, y you like surfing. It is our. No, but it just doesn't like. Literally. Hola. Yeah. Hola. Oh, Roberto, what's up? Eh, eh, sí, eh, sí, tengo un problema. Tengo 1% de carga. Se me va a descargar el celular, ah. pero voy a entrar en unos 15 minutos para esperar que me dé un poquito más de carga. Excellent, Roberto. Thank sí. you to, to, bueno, for telling us. Gracias. Gracias. Ajam, Gillian, and. My, my, because this is Ajam, Ajam Gillian, and my surname, uh -huh. and my surname is Anderson, o sea, él es MacGyver, pues vaya, para los que vieron la, <laughs> no, nadie vio la serie, Gillian Anderson era el, Gillian in Anderson, hey you, is this your car? Exactly, Daniel. Very well. You. Yeah, it's your car. Lástima, Roberto. Bueno, ahora que en la última esté. Voy a pasar lista, niños. Como es costumbre, a las nueve se pasa lista. Así es que voy a pasar lista. Una vez más, en esta lista solo llamo a los que no han estado. Carlos Alberto dijo que en el tráfico no hay. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera Molina. Present. Thank you. Alejandro Gustavo Meléndez Mercado. Oh. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Delmi, I think so that is having, it's having problems because she was slow and after no after yes wow henry enrique orellana también estuvo conectado pero este henry john perdón henry jonathan martinez perdón henry jonathan martinez estuvo conectado pero creo que se salió no sé por qué. José Omar Esquivel Eguizábal. No. Max Fernando Castro Hernández. No. Xiomara del Carmen Castro Gómez. Present. Excelente. Bien. Ok. Ojo, now we are going to see the possessive nouns. What is the difference between possessive nouns or possessive nouns and possessive adjectives? Estos, los que hemos visto, son adjectives. Y now we are going to see possessive nouns. Perdón. Sorry. Uh -huh. eh, Fíjese de que me voy a salir un momento de la clase porque eh, me estoy sintiendo un poco mal y voy a ir por unas, por unas medicinas. Perfecto, Silvia, it's no problem. If you can, uh, si puede ingresar después, eh, pues la esperamos. Si no, pues ya queda grabado. Eh, ¿Por qué? Igual si no puede ingresar, lo comenta después quizás con, con alguien para que lo tomemos en cuenta. 
Yes? Bueno, está bien, gracias. Ok. Eh, I was telling you then. Estaba diciéndoles entonces. I mean, nadie, and nobody is an, nobody is an, estil, an, an, an estilist. Or stylist. I mean, a stylist. Nadie es, a, a, I mean, nobody works in that. Nadie trabaja, digamos, en, 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 en la parte de, I mean, painting hair and making nails. Somebody, that somebody works there. Sorry? Exactly. No? Nobody? Okay. Exactly. We can say cosmetóloga. I mean, the point is because... Uh, Para eso deben de entender, por ejemplo, why in Latin America alguien ha visto, por ejemplo, Vanessa's Salón. Y todos los salones hoy tienen esa S de más, Rodolfo's Salón. Y la comía. Y la apostrofe. comía, apóstrofe. Excellent, Isabel. Exacto. Y de ahí, pues, usted va a ver you are going to find different, I mean, different numbers. O sea, Stephanie's Salón, Daniela's Salón, I mean, y todos tienen ese Salón. But the point is why? Now, you are going to understand why do they write the apostrophe and the letter S. Okay. I'm going to share my screen again. I'm going to share my screen. And the, that is called the Saxon genitive. O possessive nouns, vamos a decir aquí. Y ya le voy a explicar por qué son possessive nouns. En realidad es Saxon genitive. O possessive nouns. What is the, the famous letter S that we have to the names to demonstrate that something belongs to us? Okay. Que algo nos pertenece. Simple y sencillamente. Que está mal la Pero dice. When we speak of something. And we want to show. That things belongs to some other person. We can use the possessive noun. To express it. Aquí quiero. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ir. Vamos a hacerlo un poquito. A little bit bigger. Okay, so when we speak of something and we want to show that things belongs to some other person, we can use the possessive noun to express it. Example, that book does not belong to William. To John, sorry, to John. ¿De quién es entonces? Ah, es de William. Entonces decimos, it is Williams. ¿Ah? ¿De quién es? De William. ¿Y cómo sé que es de William? ¿Ah? Eh, porque sí, va. Let's go now understand. Si yo le quitara, voy a quitarlo ahorita, tentativamente. Si yo digo así, ¿qué estoy diciendo? William. Te lo digo S y ahí sí es un despectivo en inglés S porque ese es para cosa S William. ¿Ah? Pero como yo ya sé que se refiere al libro estoy diciendo ese libro es de William y cuál es el que es de o que le pertenece a él esa perdóneme como decimos los latinos palito comillita que en realidad como dijo Isabel se llama apóstrofe más la S. Eso hace un sentido de pertenencia. They are Andy parents. They are Andy's parents. They are not Donna's parents. ¿Ah? Aquí, si yo le vuelvo a quitar, por ejemplo, todo esto no tendría sentido. Ellos son ¿qué? Andy no tendría sentido. Porque parents no es parientes, ojo, no hay que creer, parents es padres, pero aquí diría, ellos son eh, padres Andy, no tiene sentido la oración, 
peso es que esa, esa famosísima S en apóstrofe, ahí ya tiene sentido la oración, porque ahí sí ya dice, they are Andy's parents, o sea, ellos son los padres de Andy. ¿Ah? Y dice aquí, they are not, ellos no son, si yo le voy, vamos a quitar la S, ellos no son padre Dona. Okay. What's up here? Ok. No tendría sentido. Eso, si ya le da, ah, ellos no son los padres de Dona. Ok. Vamos a mover la otra, que es el otro. Bye. Vamos, déjenme mover algo. Bye here. We use the apostrophe to show that something belongs to a person or animal. When the possessive noun is singular, we write the apostrophe S after the noun. Examples. The bag belongs to Sandy. The bag is Sandy's. Okay. Huh? Aquí esta está cortada, se cortó. An elephant trunks es la trompa de elefante, es larga. ¿Mm? Pero vea lo que está diciendo. ¿Qué ponemos? La S. Después del nombre. ¿Mm? Si el nombre es singular, ¿ok? Escribimos el apóstrofe y la S. ¿Cuál es el otro caso? El último caso, vamos a verlo. My God, move, please. Mm. Let's wanna see. Okay. <laughs> When the regular noun is plural, we write the apostrophe after the letter S. Vea, cuando el nombre regular es plural solo escribimos perdóneme la comita como le decimos ¿Me entiende? ya no escribimos la S ya no decimos voice sino que decimos voice boy es un nombre plural boy voice es un nombre eh, perdón boy es un nombre singular sorry y voice es el plural Chico, chicos. Entonces, en este caso, solo escribimos la, el apóstrofe. Those are boys' shoes. ¿Ok? When an irregular noun is plural, we write the apostrophe before the letter S. ¿Ok? Examples. The children's Playground is behind the school. ¿Por qué? Porque children, children es un nombre, es un nombre irregular. ¿Cuáles son los nombres irregulares? Los que no se les ponen S. Hay varios, por ejemplo, man y men son diferentes. Usted dice, ¿por qué dice man? ¿Y por qué después dice men? Porque uno es hombres y otro es hombre. Uno es regular, another one is And the other one is irregular, okay? Like women, woman, like, um, what is that? Another one, um, ox, oxen, I think so. And there are some others, ah, mouse, as by example, mice. Those are irregular now. Entonces, eh, para eso sirve esa famosa comita. Por eso hoy usted ve, hoy cuando vaya a Pasi's Salón, you know, que va al salón de Pasi, ¿ah? porque no quiso poner el salón es de Pasi, sino que puso Pasi's Salón. Podemos poner Alba's Clinic, por ejemplo, ¿ah? y así, por ejemplo, eh, Claudia's Pictures, por ejemplo, las fotos de Claudia, por ejemplo, Aida's glasses, los lentes de Aida, por ejemplo, eh, Daniel's headphones, los lentes de Daniel, por ejemplo, este, ornaments de Reinaldo's ornaments, we can see behind him, uh, we can say, eh, 
what does she have? I think so. I don't remember how do you say that one for Consuelo, but we can say, I mean, yeah, I don't remember how do you say diadema. I don't remember really, but we can say as by example, Consuelos. We have to look for Alba because I don't remember. There is a word that I don't use too much. That's why we don't. Uh, I don't remember too much. Uh, we can say as by example, uh, Isabel's pencil, for example. We can say uh, Maria Jose's uh, pen, as by example. We can say uh, uh, Bernardo's picture of Marilyn Monroe. I think so. That is Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we can say uh -huh, the uh, Carlos Gamer headphones. Okay. We can say the, I mean, the Renata's glasses. We can say uh, Michelle's glasses. We can say Alejandro's cap. And Xiomara, she doesn't have camera. That's why I cannot say anything about her. <laughs> but that's the point, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. That's the way. Entonces, what are we going to do? Siempre hoy vamos a trabajar otra hoja. Vamos a trabajar otra hoja. Ahorita se las envío. Let's gonna make some uh, different groups again. We're gonna make some groups. I'm gonna see Gmail. That it's possessive nouns. Yes, possessive nouns. It is here. Here we go to the WhatsApp. Here we go to the WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. There you have the page. We are gonna make groups again. Good night, teacher. I so, I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry, Ando. Uh, well, you have to take into account the, the minutes, but don't, don't worry. Okay, uh, Carlos. I know that also you are late. I hope so. I sent some um, uh, some yeah, some some worksheets to the group to the WhatsApp group. And I hope you can watch later the class, Carlos, because I think I know I, I, I received your message that you came later to the class because you were on traffic, okay? Also, you are a handle. Okay, you have there the page. Again, I'm gonna do some groups and you start to work in the different groups, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, let's gonna see. Okay, we go for groups. Please practice your English. Just the only permission to speak English, to speak Spanish has to be for the teacher. Okay, but try to speak in English. Okay. Go to your classroom, to the, your different classroom. I'm sorry, 40. Okay, you have to go to your classroom, Nelly. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, okay. So, yeah. You have to work again in the all, in all exercises. You don't have to copy all of them, okay? But yes, you have to solve them. Okay. I mean, there are first not 10 exercises in the page and one is done for you. Tom's shoes are dirty, okay? Because you have Tom yes. and you have there how you can do this one, okay? This is easy, I think so. To use them, it's very hard, but to write down, it's very, it, it's easy, it's a piece of cake, okay? You don't have any problem, guys? Renata, Xiomara, Carlos, Daniel, Alejandro? No. 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 Okay. Then bye. You don't need me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good night. <laughs> you don't need me. Hi, girls and guys. Everything is okay? Are you working very well? Yeah, very well. Okay, you don't need me also. <laughs> Crying, okay, you don't need me. Everything is okay, Bernardo, Consuelo, Reinaldo, Isabel? Yeah. yeah. Piece of cake. In this case, yes, you have to write down the apostrophe, okay? It's very easy, the exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so that there is not much. Any, any problem? No. For the moment, no teacher. Okay, it means that you don't need me. <laughs> I think no. <laughs> right I now, so. no teacher. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Yes. I guess so. Oh my God. I'm going to take into account, you know, here, eh? Here, eh? because you don't need me. <laughs> I no teacher. You are important <laughs> in, in the group. But no, but, but not now. Right okay, now, but no. not now. <laughs> <laughs> piece of cake, okay? Is that... I'm leaving because uh, you don't need uh, me. Okay. Is that the postman? Uh -huh. Which one? Postman. What is that? Which one is her last name? Because she, she has last name. What, which is her last name? I mean, what are you discussing about? Que están discutiendo, tell me. Don. Huh? Eh, la number four. Number four. Postman is. Postman. Postman. Number four. Postman. 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 Yeah, it's a song, it's a last name. And is the occupation? Oh. Uh, is that the postman's box? Is the is that the postman's bag? Uh, because in this case, it's uh, the that occupation. the postman's bag? Okay. Is that the postman's bag? Exactly. That's it, Daniel. That's it. Yeah, it could be also a last name that is Postman, and also it's a song, a good song they say Postman. Mr. Postman, Postman. I think so. That is the song. Postman. Uh huh. Is... Mr. Postman is the song. I don't remember who, 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 who sings, but it, Mr. Postman is the song. Mr. Postman, the FedEx. <laughs> FedEx, yeah. <laughs> don't you have any question? Or do you have any question? Uh, no, you don't need me can. again. I am in the friend zone. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> that is Miss Taylor's husband. Miss Taylor. Husband. Yeah. Miss Taylor's. Taylor's. Con apostrophes al final. Miss yeah. Taylor's husband. Yeah, it's... Miss. Okay, no. Let's say. Children. Questions? Sí, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Eh, eh, no nos queda tan claro cuando no la palabra que sigue al, al nombre. Empieza con S. Digamos. Ah, empieza con S. Ah, uh, but I mean, the beginning doesn't, the, the, I mean, the beginning of the other word doesn't matter. No importa la, el inicio de la otra palabra. Lo que usted tiene que ver es el, el, el posesivo del nombre. La otra palabra caso, no, digamos. En el caso ah. de las dos, dice my father. Ah, la, la, which one? Ah, yeah. My father's, my father's shirt. My father's shirt is neat. Entonces, ¿lleva la, la S, la apóstrofe S o S apóstrofe? No. ¿Qué dice la regla? La regla tiene que aplicar to the noun. La regla aplica al noun. Entonces, ¿qué dice el noun? Eh, ¿Qué dice la regla? Dice que si termina, por ejemplo, en consonante, claro, se aplica el apóstrofe y la es. Entonces, tiene que decir, listen to me, my father's shirt is neat. Yes, it's neat. Ajá. 
bien, pero en ese caso sí termina, ¿verdad? Pero al contrario tenía que, tiene que ser si termina con una vocal. Hmm, ma, fíjese oh. que no, realmente es cuando termina en S. When you finish, eh, when, the, when the noun finish in S. A ver, le voy a compartir pantalla para que vea por lo menos eh, aquí. Aquí, eh. acá dice. Voy a compartir. Vea que dice, let me see. Oh my God. Ajá, aquí. Ah, okay. Entonces, cuando la palabra termina en este. You have to add this. Cuando, cuando la palabra termina mm. en S, tiene que ponerse S y, y apóstrofe. Ah, no, pero en este caso la palabra termina en S, solo pongo el apóstrofe. Solo la comita. Exacto, uh -huh. solo el apóstrofe. Oh. Exacto. En el, caso de la, en el caso que termina en S. Exacto, pero el noun, no la palabra que le sigue, sino que el noun. O sea, la palabra a la que pertenece. Ok. Ok. Entonces, en el caso de number two, tiene que ser my father's. Exactly, my father's. My father's. Yeah, my father's. Ok. Lilas son afiladas. Translating, Entonces, ah, who is translating? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I cannot. Re I don't remember. I didn't remember the what is Klaus. I didn't uh, remember. Klaus. Yeah. Okay. Klaus. Klaus. Uh -huh. Klaus is plural. And eagles, Klaus are sharp. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Rula, But you so know rula. what's the meaning of Klaus, Claudia? In this case, is carras, okay? <laughs> That's oh, the okay. No Spanish, no Spanish allowed, okay? Because you have to learn to speak English. Eagles. Any other question, girls? This is the girls' group. No men's allowed, just the teacher. Mm. Sí, tengo un poquito de duda, teacher. En esta, Which one? In the nine. Is plural y singular. Plural. Really? Which one? The nine. Number nine. No, but, but which word is plural or singular? Ajá. Uh -huh. Which word? ¿Cuál ah, palabra? It... Klaus. Klaus, yeah. Klaus es. Singular, uh, cloud is plural. Plural, but the, sí, ah, okay. pero but an... es singular. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Ah, entonces thank tiene you. que ver el nombre al capítulo. Recuerde que okay. es possessive noun. Yes, yes, yes. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Eagles, cloud. They are Sharon sister. Sharon sister. Sharoms. Sharoms. Teacher. La cuatro. English, number four. Here. <laughs> number English. four. Here. Here. Gersh. Gersh. Fisher. Fisher. Gersh. What is that the question? Is Gersh. Number, number three. Number three. Uh, is that Katy's father or Katy's uh, father? Which is, is number three? Father? What's the what's the point there? I mean, we are confusing me. I mean, is my father's shirt is neat? That's it. Do you understand? No. No. Recuerden, se va, lo explico. Es un possessive noun. El posesivo aplica al nombre. ¿Cuál es el nombre posesivo en sí? Es simple y sencillamente esa, esa apóstrofe y ese. El punto es 
en este caso, a quien aplica. ¿Ah? En este caso está diciendo, la camisa de mi padre es, es como muy, muy limpia, muy, muy, muy ajustada, I think so. Entonces dice, eh, o sea, entonces dice, la camisa de mi papá es muy, es muy ajustada. Entonces, ¿a dónde se va a aplicar el possessive noun? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Camisa? No. 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 Se aplica este, al Opa. nombre. Padre. Al nombre. Es lo mismo, llamémosle ah, así. De la, es, es lo mismo de salón. No le va a aplicar. ¿Es que se refiere a la persona no, siempre? Es, en, no es, ah, ya, ya. No es a la persona en sí, sino que al noun. Que pertenece a. Exacto. En el caso, vamos a, se lo voy a decir un poquito más así, como al sujeto casi siempre del que se está hablando. Porque está expresando la pertenencia del sujeto. Por ejemplo, como lo estoy diciendo, cuando dicen pasis salón. Who belongs ese salón de, de, de uñas? A pasis. A ah, Daniel Salón, ¿a quién le pertenece? Ah, Daniel. No sabía que tenía, o sea, es mentira. I mean, I'm lying. Ok, es, eh, pero ese es el punto, es decir, que pertenece a alguien. Entonces, por ejemplo, en la, en the first sentence, in the first sentence you have, Tom's shoes are dirty. Okay. Who, has, ajá. Who, 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 who belongs that shoes? Tom. Ah, then the possessive noun of Tom, Tom's shoes. The second one, Renata. Sure, no, because that is no, is the my father's. Who belongs that cheer? My father's. So my father's cheer, my father's cheer, sorry, is neat. Huh? Mm, let's gonna see number nine. A quien le pertenece la number nine. Está hablando de las garras del águila son afiladas. ¿De quién está hablando? De la águila. De la águila. Entonces, ¿a quién le voy a poner el sujeto? ¿A quién le pertenece eso? A la águila. A la águila. Entonces es an eagle's glass. Ajá, are sharp. Ajá. Entonces, en la número tres, ¿de quién está hablando? Rachel. Rachel. Exacto. Entonces, those are Rachel's shoes. Es en la cuatro. En la, ajá, vamos en la 4. No, no, está bien, pero discuss. No worry, Daniel. Ajá. Eh, Osman, estamos hablando de, un poquito de español. Estamos hablando de cartero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A él se le puede poner postman. Sí, porque ¿qué dice porque la regla? De la... Vale, le voy a compartir una vez más. Sí, voy a compartir pantalla y explico lo que estaba lo que venía explicando. I'm going to share my screen. Ok. Let's gonna see. <laughs> Let me see something. No, come on. Uh -huh. But what it says here, that it says when a regular noun is, pl is plural, you have to that. Uh, but, but it's the other one, I think so. Let me see. Solo es que quiero mover. Aquí lo. Ah, perfecto. Ahí está mejor. Right. Listen, it says, when we speak of something, cuando hablamos de algo y queremos demostrar que ese algo, aquella cosa le pertenece a otra persona, nosotros usamos el nombre posesivo para expresar eso. ¿Ah? De esa cosa, de la cosa que estamos hablando. Sí, es cierto, pero ¿a quién le pertenece esa cosa? Ah, ese es el punto, no es que sea, es, es cierto, pero vea, cuando estamos hablando de algo que, le, que queremos mostrar que esa cosa le pertenece a otra persona, nosotros usamos el nombre posesivo o el genitivo sajón para expresar la pertenencia de esa cosa. ¿Ah? Ok, entonces eso es lo que hace la pertenencia de esa cosa. Es decir, la segunda oración, ¿de, de qué cosa estamos hablando? Renata o Daniel, ¿de qué cosa estamos hablando en la segunda oración? En la segunda oración de la de, de, ajá, de, de la ejercicio. primera parte. De, ajá, de la primera parte, porque la otra solo es. De, de la de, 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 camisa, ¿no? Exacto, de esa cosa estamos hablando, pero queremos expresar que le pertenece a quién. Ajá. 
My mi father. Sure. Exacto. Pues, es. Is it clear now? Yes. Okay, guys. Oh, very okay. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Let me see. No lo puedo decir de que aquí todas llevan, llevan apóstrofe. Sí, es que todas llevan. O sea, sí que ese ejercicio está más fácil. ¿Ah? El B, en el B es la que tenía cierto por qué ponían solo los nombres. Se ve para confundir. ¿no? En la B. Sí. Sí, porque al final dice, este es eh, Judy's Pet Kitty. Ajá. La, la mascota de. de Exacto, Judy. pero ahí tiene. Ajá. Sí, pero es que ahí tienen que ver que solo tenían que subrayar. Entonces dice, esta es, ajá, Judy's Pet Kitten. Kitten. I mean, Kitten. Judy's. Ajá, exacto. Esta es. This, Judy's, this is Judy's Pet Chicken. Exacto. Así es. Ah, uh, is that Katie's father? Esto es el papá de Katy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That is your dress is pure. It's pretty, sorry. Entonces, eso, solo está subrayando la palabra correcta, que en este caso entendemos que está siempre hablando de la pertenencia de algo. Girls. Uh -huh. Dress is girls. pretty. Dress is pretty. Pretty woman walking on the pretty. street. Pretty okay. woman. That's okay. why you have to learn to some sounds. Pretty, not pretty. Pretty. That's why. Pretty woman. Pretty. Yeah, pretty, pretty woman That's walking pretty woman. on pretty. the street, pretty woman. Yo creo que no has la película. ¿Ah? <laughs> Yo creo que no has la película. No, 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 no. Sí, es cierto, pero tal vez la canción sí, porque it, 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 it's a kind of famous. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the song pretty is a kind woman. of famous. Huh? But there is music that helps you to pronounce very well the words. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, pretty, pretty woman. Pretty. Huh? The girl's dress is a pre pretty. Pretty. The girl's pretty. 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 Yeah, pretty. pretty. That girl's dress is pretty. Finish? No English. No Spanish. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> ah, no, está bien. No inglés. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. No Spanish. Finish? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna disable the groups. I mean, I always okay do you understand now what is the possessive noun and what's the difference between the possessive noun and possessive adjective possessive adjective is when you say my name my car my sons my daughter my computer my cell phone that's i mean a possessive noun sorry possessive adjective possessive noun Remember, is when we want to express that something belongs to another person. That's 
Uh, that's uh, that's the way that we use the possessive noun. And then we say, as by example, Isabel's hair, as by example, Bernardo's picture, Aida's glasses, Carlos' headphones. Carlos, as Carlos finish in S, <clears throat> we don't say Carlos, we say Carlos. And when we write down, we express uh, uh, an apostrophe and we we have to distinguish that that apostrophe, it, 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 is, it is telling me that that things belong belongs to Carlos. That's why I say Carlos Helfon. Helfons, sorry. Consuelos Diadema. I don't remember how do you say Diadema. Somebody can look how do you say Diadema. I remember, but Carlos, I mean, he is very technician, always. Reinaldo's bracelet, as by example. Reinaldo's bracelet. Uh, Xiomara's pen. Maria Jose's um, pencil. Nelly's glasses. Daniel's t-shirt. Alejandro's cup. Yeah, Cloud. Sorry, Carlos. Tell me, how do you say? Diadem. Diadem. Ah, yeah. Diadem. That is the same. Just cut off the letter A, but you have to pronounce it in a different way. Headband, teacher. Headband. Ah? Headband. Is ah, but that is, headband is the other one. Is other ah, one. Oh, okay. The other ones that, that are bands, like when you are uh -huh. running. Ah, uh -huh. oh, yes. Headband. Okay. In this case, they are diadem. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Alejandro's cup, Claudia's pictures, Renata's glasses is our Isabel. I, I have heard, I, I have talked about Isabel. That's why, I mean, we have to distinguish that I can, uh, that, that is an easy way to say that something belongs to others. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's gonna see our manual in the page. That's it. You see what is the difference between? Please close up your microphone. I don't know who are. I'm sorry. Please, someone. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. This is page number 14, I think so. That's not, this is number 16. This is the page that you have to add. It's a page, page uh -huh. 14. This is 14. No, this is 16. Okay. How to use possessive adjectives and nouns? Okay. Look at here. And let me see something. I want to see. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. That's it. Possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it's our, their. Possessive noun. Look at our teacher's name. Our teacher's name uh, is Carlos. Pedro's address is Melissa and Dora's last name is. And this is the way to use the, to, to, to use the possessive nouns to demonstrate that something belongs to others because even the name belongs to you. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter if Carlos uh, uh, Carlos uh, called a name like me. Carlos is its name and Carlos is my name also. Then I can say Carlos last name is uh, Alba's last name is Daniel's last name is Isabel's 
last name is, uh, and so on. Ask a partner to spell the following information and write it onto the space. Use capital letters for proper nouns. You can do this at home, okay? Feelings, they want, this is information about you. What is your first name? What is your middle name? In this case, middle names, uh, it uh, sometimes depends, but it's your middle name. In this case, Alberto is your middle name. Last name is Melendez. Occupation, bosses, look at here. In this case, they use like that. Voy a hacer una corrección. A veces depende, ¿no? Pero vean ustedes que aquí algunos rompen las reglas. El problema es que algunas reglas eh, dicen los americanos esta es la regla, los, los británicos dicen esta es la regla. Ustedes pueden ver aquí, voy a hacerlo todavía más grande. Sorry, para que vean algo. Vean, aquí no puedo manchar. Ajá. Vamos a ver algo. Vean aquí. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Aquí ya se rompe lo que hemos venido hablando. Decíamos que cuando terminan en ese, ¿qué dice? Solo le aplicamos el apóstrofo. Pero a veces, ojo, el inglés tiene 100 reglas y mil excepciones. O sea, es decir, si ustedes ven, no van a decir, ay, es que el teacher dijo. Yo tenía, my sister was like, es que el teacher me enseñó y ha sido eso. Tranquilo. O sea. I mean, you have to make researching. Tienes que hacer investigaciones y darte cuenta que eso también existe. I mean, I was telling to other people that now exists in English the word dinero. Si usted busca la palabra dinero hoy en un diccionario en inglés, existe ya. ¿Ah? Ya no es solo money. Ok, give me money. I need money. O ya puede ir a un diccionario en inglés y dice dinero. I need dinero. Ok. Y usted puede decir, no, hombre, pero dinero es algo así, lo que decimos nosotros. Pero sí, it exists. Because that's another way, pero cómo se forman las... Bueno, Renata nos puede explicar en algún día cómo se van adquiriendo palabras dentro de un idioma. ¿Ah? Entonces, pero para el caso, creo que Carlos también nos puede explicar cómo se van adquiriendo palabras dentro de un idioma que al final el uso común la vuelven parte de un idioma, aunque no sean del idioma. Y fue el caso de los anglicismos, de los galicismos y todo ese tipo de ismos que se montaron al idioma español, al idioma de Cervantes. ¿Ah? Entonces, you look here how it's, um, how it's made. That is boss's name. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué dice aquí? Ah, es que, ¿qué dice? What it says? What's the meaning of this? Uh -huh. ¿Qué está pidiendo ahí? El nombre del jefe. Exacto. Exacto, y ya hoy usted ya sabe, ya no dice, ¿y qué quiere decir esa comita y esa S? ¿Verdad? O ya la ve un día y ya sabe que cuando vaya ahí a Rodolfo's Salón, ya sabe de quién es. Que no se llame así el daño, pero usted ya sabe, dicen que así es. ¿Ok? Entonces, that it means. ¿Ok? ¿Any question, guys? Yes, one question. Este, se ocupa yours. Está, está your y yours. Sí, ¿por qué? Ya le voy ¿Sí? a decir por qué. Ah, pero es que solo vimos aquí. Aquí está, mire. Ah, bueno, no, sí se ocupa, pero es cierto y tiene razón, pero no está aquí. Es en nosotros. Le tendría que decir que son los, este, possessive adjectives. Ah, que son los demonstrative. No vamos a ese tema, pero se llaman demonstrative. ¿Ok? Los demonstrative adjective, o demonst o demonstrative son otros, que ya es cuando dice mine, yours, uh, him, hers, I think so, its, uh, or is ours y theirs. Generalmente la mayoría ponen ese. Por eso es que ahí se pone el yours. Pero yours es para demonstrative. No se vaya a confundir. No quiero meterme en el tema ahorita porque. It will be el... Exacto. It depends. Oh, okay. But it's, yours is a demonstrative. That's why you use yours. Okay? ok. Any other question, guys? Please try to use your English. 
because I don't know what I'm gonna do if you don't if you don't start speaking English, okay? You are learning English, remember. Then you have to speak in English. Not just you have to, hey teacher, I did the manual. Hey teacher, I did the exercises. Hey teacher, you know, I got 10 of my exercises. And I will tell you, start to speak my darling. And you, mm, mm, mm. no, that's not the way. I need you to speak English. I need, that's why I'm speaking too much English for you because like Isabel and the others that were like, uh, oh, the teacher says, could I? The teacher says this, the teacher says that. I mean, because in that way you are gonna learn some words, but I need that you to speak. That's why always you have to speak. And when you start to work in groups, try to speak in English. I mean, try to correct between yourselves. <laughs> yeah, but you prefer the Spanish. I mean, and, and, and let me let me tell you something. That's why after you say, I don't know why I don't learn English. <laughs> Do you understand? Okay, I'm gonna stop the chair. That's why you say, I don't know why I don't learn English. You know, I did all the levels in English Corporativo. I did 18 modules, but I don't know why I don't speak English. I can tell you why you don't speak English. <laughs> because you have to force yourself to speak English. Okay? Yeah. Oh. That's why I need, when we finish this course, I hope you will be happy because you say, I learned to speak English, okay? I learned at least to say my occupation, my name, to spell my name, uh, to say, uh, uh, as by example, Consuelo's diadem, okay? Or Nelly's glasses. Who's this? Huh? The king is sexto. Who's this? Ah, Nelly's. Ah, Carlos. Ah, Alejandro's. Ah, Claudia's. Ah, Michelle's. Ah, Aida's. Ah, Reynaldo's. Because I'm telling the S the belonging. Do you have any question, guys? No. Please uh, see the videos when you have time instead of watching your Facebook. I need, I know that you need time to watch your. At social networks. I know that you need time to take pics and to watch your Instagram, your Facebook, or I don't know if you have Tinder, or I don't know if you have another social network. <laughs> <laughs> Who's <Yeah>. smiling? My <laughs> God, <laughs> Daniel, why you are smiling? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, need, I, I, I know that you need to update your profile in that kind of social networks. But please, if you want to learn English, you have to dedicate more time, more than two hours, more than maybe three hours just to do the exercises and to be in class. You need to practice. You need to read. You need to, 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 to complete by yourself your manual, okay? To speak... Okay. You are gonna have 10 minutes here. Ask me, not just, uh, sorry. I'm not telling you that it's bad that you tell me. I feel proud, I, I feel proud. I mean, I feel proud when you tell me, okay, teacher, the class was okay and there is nothing. I feel like, oh, okay. But I need that you, to, that you ask me, that you ask me for help. Teacher, I don't understand this. Can you help me? I don't understand this. Can you explain me again? Huh? That's what I need. Any question, girls? Any question, guys? Empiece a trate de preguntarme cosas en inglés, aunque no lo pueda hacer. You know what's the point? ¿Sabe cuál es el punto? Que tiene pena, que tiene miedo de equivocarse, que tiene miedo que lo corrijamos. Don't worry, that's my work. Yo pasé por eso también, que lo corrijan a uno todavía. Hay gente que, mi acento es bien salvadoreño y lo digo muy claro. O sea, no es tan americano, pero aquí he aprendido. But uh, yo he tenido mucha experiencia 
tu, estuve de traductor, estuve aprendiendo con, un, con una chica en las Bahamas como por seis meses, estuvimos intercambiando, o sea, alguna experiencia tengo. En, 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 uh, there are things that I can help you, that I can teach you. Hay cosas que le puedo enseñar, que, que le puedo ayudar. ¿Ok? So, if there is no more questions, if there is no more things that you want to do or you want to ask me, I think that we have to finish the, I mean, we have to finish the class. Do you have any question? Reinaldo, no? No. Okay, who's gonna stay with me today? I don't, I don't remember. Who's, who, who is? It's war. Wow. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> oh, really? No. Who is? Who is? But I don't remember who is. I mean, I mean, I was watching. I think so. I remember that it's a girl. I think so that it's a girl. Oh, my God. 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 Hey, where is he? Who's going to stay with me? Who wants? No, no, it's that's in who wants. It's who want who who has. Ah, that's it. Thank you. That's it. Today is Bernardo has to stay with me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So please study, do your exercises, answer the question in the forum. Tomorrow I will post another question. Okay. I don't know if do you have do you need something? No. If no, we have finished. Yes, yeah, yeah, finish. finish. Vuelva a ser loco hablando inglés, no importa que le digan, mira, no se te oye bien, mira, yo lo hablo mejor. Pierda esos miedos. No se te entiende. Exacto, no se te entiende qué feo tu acento, no se dice así, todavía lo va a corregir, tranquilo. Pero pierda ese miedo. Que si no lo pierde, de verdad, nunca lo va a hacer. Nosotros tuvimos una experiencia con un colega que en un bus nos salió alguien, sí, ustedes son las notas, la aprenden, no sé qué es. Ni modo, es parte del show. Pero si no, lo, no pierden el miedo, ni aún entre ustedes, cuando los pongo en grupos de hablar, no van a hablar. Si ustedes dicen, no, es que es más fácil el español, te entiendo más. Never. Ok. Well, guys, have a nice night. As always, have been a pleasure to me, uh, be your teacher, another night, another day. I mean, carpe diem, please. I know that your day is finishing, but carpe diem, okay? okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Okay, good night, teacher. Bye. Happy dreams. See you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night for every for everybody. For everybody. <laughs> everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Everybody. Bye. <laughs> Do your exercises, please. Tomorrow I will send you many watts if you haven't finished. Good night, teacher. Good night, Mr. Melendez. Oh I'm my sorry God, I didn't pass Alejandro. I didn't pass Liz. Nobody, nobody remember me, Alejandro. I wanted, I wanted, sorry, Alejandro, don't, don't unplug mm -hmm. because I think so that you were with, you were not here. I want to listen to you. Let me see. Alejandro, Alejandro, Gustavo Good night, Mercado. Yes. Present. Present. Okay. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Bye. Carlos Alberto. Oh, Carlos Alberto. He left and I did. Oh, my God. But he was here. Sorry, Bernardo. Carlos Alberto. Patrick. Yeah. I forgot this always. Oh, my God. See, he wasn't. Okay, Fernando, no. No. Okay, sorry. Don't worry, teacher. 
Okay, now we here we go. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Do you need any help? Yes, teacher. Uh, um, I send now the picture in WhatsApp. Okay. Um, tengo sí. tengo mucha duda ahí eh, el, la contra, con, eh, contractar por ejemplo eh, en las negativas eh, de ver to be en simple present uh -huh. eh, cuando es por ejemplo la contratación eh, contractar negativo we are not o we aren't ahí, cualquiera ahí de las me, dos me... Puede, cualquiera de las dos puede usar no hay restricciones there is no restriction there o sea puede usar Por ejemplo, eh, they, uh, they aren't friends. Uh -huh. they, aren't, they aren't friends. Or they are, they are not friends. Whatever. Uh, But you don't have, I mean, you are, not, uh, you are not restricted to use this or, this or that one, okay? You have to... You, uh, you can, I mean, you can... Uh, <clears throat> You can use both, okay? There is no restrictions. I mean, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use that one. They are gonna correct me, no. There is no problem, I mean. Uh, um, de igual manera, mm -hmm. she's not, she's saying, or, or? The same, or she's not, she's not, not, she's not a, she's not a lady, okay? She isn't a lady, that's it, don't worry. No, así en, en la primera persona. I just am. with am, yes. Just with a am, you cannot contract am plus not. You have to contract the pronoun plus uh, the verb to be. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Any other question, Bernardo? Um, más que todo eso, teacher. Uh, sigo ahí con los ejercicios. ¿verdad? El fin de semana voy a... Uh, Enfocarme un poquito más ahí en el manual, ¿verdad? Que okay. por, por tiempo es no bien difícil. Don't tiempo. worry, I know that you, uh, that you have to take care of your time. It's very hard to be uh, learning English with our schedule, maybe, because we have a work. I mean, we have a job. We have to do our job. I suppose that you have family. I mean, you have to dedicate time to your family. And after also, you have to take, take, take time you have to take time to your studies, I mean, to study English. And as I was telling you, I mean, study English is very hard. I mean, because, uh, I mean, mm, that is not easy just for two hours. Okay, teacher. Do yeah. you like Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I was watching the, the picture, the pic of Marilyn Monroe. Yes, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question, todo. Bernardo? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, um, parte sería todo. Uh -huh. Okay, so but you, have, you, you still have like three minutes or more. Three minutes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Es parte de, y es evaluado, ¿verdad? Estar en, en, en... Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. mandatory. It's mandatory. En cuanto a, a, al tema de vocabulario, eh, de repente tendré eh, bueno, hay bastante información en internet, pero eh, digamos eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué me recomienda ahí para ir aumentando el vocabulario? I mean there are different methods in my case in my case uh, personally I recommend I mean, to listen music because uh, there are now all, all the videos that you can find in different platforms, like the most common, you are gonna find the, the songs and you are gonna find sometimes the translation if you want. It depends when you say vocabulary, but also uh, the people in English, uh, I mean, they need vocabulary, that's true but also they need to learn to pronounce very well the words. And I think so, that the music is a, is a good method. I mean, when you start, uh, in my case, uh, in my case, uh, it was one method that uh, helped me a lot, okay? 
when I start to song uh, different uh, different songs, I like. I mean, I learn to. I mean, first you you start to sing the song. My method is first you start to sing the song. Okay, just yeah, 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 no, sorry. You start to listen the song. Okay. The second okay. one, you try to sing the song. As by example, uh, um, you say, when lights go down. I see no reason for you to cry. We've been through this before in every time, in every season. God knows I've tried, so please don't ask for more. Can you see it in my eyes? So that's a way that what it's going to help you to pronounce very well the words yes. after you can look for the meaning of the words and it will help you to get more vocabulary to get how you can form different sentences and the verb conjugation and a lot, uh, and a lot of things for me, the music is one of the best method to learn uh, a language. And English better because you are gonna find, I mean, songs for different topics. I mean, if you are gonna find, I mean, if you are gonna look for, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, a song with, um, I mean, with some, you know, with uh, with verbs, as by example, with present, with verbs in present, and you're gonna find. I close my eyes only for the moments and the nice. moments gone. Yeah, that's why. My nice voice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, but that, I mean, but not not my voice, my pronunciation. <laughs> the vocabulary <laughs> that you're gonna find, the vocabulary that you are gonna get uh, listening these kind of songs. Uh, singing, trying to sing these kind of songs, I mean, it's going to be helpful for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So if there is no more, Bernardo, that I can help you, I think that we yes. have finished. Please do your exercises, as you say, on, uh, on the weekend, complete the manual, take your time, and I mean, you can look for internet or even if you have an equation, I can help you. It will be okay. everything. It will be all, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Teacher. So, have a nice night. Uh, um, Tell me. Thank you, good night. You're welcome, see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night, okay. have, have a good night, sorry and rest okay okay thank you bye Good night. bye